transport police under scrutiny for taking their powers too far. Now they patrol railway and bus stations to keep the peace, protect property and to make sure commuters are buying tickets. But now there are accusations and evidence that they're going over the top, dispensing their own form of rough justice. Jackie Quist has more. <laughs> Public transport heavies, the very officers assigned to protect the commuting public, caught on camera. The most recent incident showing inspectors in full flight. This burly V-line officer seen pinning a 12-year-old to the ground, flipping him over while a furious mother tries to intervene. Through it all, Dylan Murphy gripped in a vice-like headlock. There's no question the job of transport officers is a tough one. Keeping the peace and the public safe means daily dealings with vandalism, violence, drugs and thefts, often requiring split-second decisions when it comes to the use of force. But in this case, did officers go too far? Have you recovered, do you think, from that night? Yeah. I had a sore neck and sore back and I had two days off work and I could never go in. 23-year-old Dylan is autistic. Intellectually disabled, he says he was inadvertently caught up in a melee at Sunbury Station outside Melbourne. It was Dylan's birthday and he'd spent the day shopping. Heading home to celebrate with family, he caught a bus to the station where he met his mates. Dylan says he heard arguing, then walked to the shops. On his return, says he was confronted by a public transport officer. Been to the shop. Yep coming down the stairs yep. and I got to here he's come around here grabbed his side ripping t-shirt apart and then he dragged me around to there. Dylan's mum Sue Murphy shocked at her son's shredded t-shirt and the bruising to his neck and arm. On one side of his neck looked like fingerprints just generally very sore from being sort of held Dylan claims the incident started because one of his mates was drinking on the platform. Eyewitness Ricky Powell says the situation quickly escalated. Kicks and punches were thrown, the kids against the officers. The officers, I didn't see any punches being thrown from them. They pretty much took the kids straight to the ground and kept them there while they called for police to arrive. The station's new security camera is not yet operational. V-Line claims its authorised officers acted appropriately in difficult circumstances, claiming staff was subject to racial abuse, spitting and assault, and reasonably attempted to calm the situation, claiming staff should not be subject to such behaviour when attempting to make the network a safer place for passengers and saying they should be respected for the work they do. Every time I've spoken to these guys, they've always been your best friend. But international human rights lawyer and Liberty Victoria president, Professor Spencer Zivchak, is concerned about the level of power and now weapons assigned especially to the new crop of protective service officers. Liberty has been arguing for a long time that protective services officers are second-class police. We don't need second-class police in Victoria. We need properly trained, fully-fledged police not people who've been trained for three months and carrying guns after three weeks training. What was your involvement in this? He's trying to say I hit him. Did you hit him? Did you try no. to hit him? I was coming down the stairs and he's just come up and grabbed me. Why would he do something like that? I don't know. Dylan and another youth were taken away by police. Dylan released without charge. The other youth found to be intoxicated and fined. Questions as to who was at fault may easily be answered in the future with incredible new surveillance technology like this. Cameras so advanced they can zoom in to read the time on your watch, the words on your page. Trevor Dobbin is Victorian Secretary of the Rail, Tram and Bus Union. I think, you know, we need to understand that without the authorised officers there'd be chaos on the system. They keep fare evasion down, they keep the system safe, they prevent crimes from occurring and without them there'd be just chaos out there. They're very important.